If you are thinking of selling your home in the new year and you want to increase your home value, consider these appliance upgrades. Florida Realtors says that 50% of homeowners who were surveyed said that they would upgrade their current appliances when selling their home in order to increase their home value. As a matter of fact, these same home buyers believe that they can get an additional $14,000 on their home by upgrading these six top appliances. I have to say, in my professional opinion, most of the items on this list are general maintenance items for your home. Unless you're upgrading to something that is so much more expensive with tons of bells and whistles. And then in that case, are you really gonna get a return on upgrading these appliances? Okay, let's dive into this list and one, see if each appliance can truly be considered an upgrade and two, what is your return gonna look like if you're gonna get a return at all? Number one is the air conditioner. In my professional opinion, this cannot be considered an upgrade unless you are taking it to the next level. For example, if you have a perfectly good working HVAC system and you decide you truly wanna to upgrade to something like a geothermal loop system, that would be an upgrade. And that's gonna cost you upwards of about $40,000 depending on what level you take it to. In this case, I would not consider it an upgrade. I would keep your money, keep the HVAC system that you had and move on. Now, if you want a crazy, like take you to the moon, next level HVAC system, then get one and have it for yourself, but don't do it as a potential upgrade to get more money for your home when you're selling it because you're gonna end up spending more money on the unit anyways, and you're not gonna have that return there. You should, Always keep up with maintenance on your HVAC system. And if you are selling your home for at least market value or trying to get market value, you should have a working HVAC system. Again, in my opinion, not an upgrade, but general maintenance item. Number two is the dishwasher. Now this appliance, in my opinion, can go either way. You can buy ultra fancy, top of the line dishwashers that you don't really need, or it's not really gonna help you get a return on your home if you're upgrading to make more money. You can also get a kind of middle of the road upgrade. Looks nice, it's aesthetically pleasing to the buyer. It has some bells and whistles that will catch their eye. And this will help you because when people are buying a home and they're moving in and they're excited they don't want to spend money on a dishwasher they want to spend money on fun things like couches and curtains and new bedroom furniture so when you have a good looking well working some bells and whistles kind of dishwasher yes i do believe that this will help you with your return on your home number three is the hot water heater when I think of a hot water heater, the only upgrade that I can possibly imagine helping you with the return on your home is if you transition to a tankless hot water heater. And if you don't already have gas, it is pointless to transition to a tankless hot water heater. This is something that my husband and I had in our home before we moved, a tankless hot water heater. We already had gas, we had it pulled from the street right up to our house, added it, hands down, love it. This is something that I fully believe everyone should end up transitioning to. Again, if you don't have gas, pointless to have an electric tankless hot water heater. If you do have gas, make the transition. If you're looking for an upgrade just to get value off of your home, go to the tankless. I just don't think it's gonna get you that return. I'm looking at a house and I'm a buyer and I see that it already has a tankless hot water heater. That is a benefit for me and it is going to encourage me to spend a little more more on the home. If I see a brand new hot water heater that is a tank, it is gonna seem like an extra expense to me. So I'm not gonna think to myself, oh my God, it has a tankless hot water heater. Yeah, I'll give them that extra $5,000. I'm gonna be like, they have a big brand new tank, but I'm still gonna take that out because I'm transitioning to a tankless hot water heater. So again, I don't see this one as an upgrade unless you're going to that tankless hot water heater. Number four is the oven. Yes. Yes, yes, this is 100% considered an upgrade when you actually make the upgrade. It will matter to the buyer. Buyers love an oven that looks good with bells and whistles. Just be careful when you're making that upgrade that you don't price yourself out of that return that you're looking for. Number five is the washing machine. In the state of Florida, the washer and dryer do not convey with the sale of the property unless it is negotiated that way. So 
With that, right off the bat, I don't necessarily consider this an upgrade unless the seller has a really nice washer and dryer with all the bells and whistles that they're willing to part with. And typically when a buyer sees a washer and dryer and they're like, oh, I'd really like that included, they're not necessarily saying to themselves, hmm, I'm gonna give them $5,000 more as long as they leave their washer and dryer. They are trying to get the washer and dryer negotiated into the cost of the house that they're already willing to pay. And here's why. A washer and a dryer are really heavy and cumbersome and hard to move. Buyers know that and sellers know that. So when a buyer is trying to negotiate that in with their contract price, they are not thinking about upping the bottom line. Number six is the refrigerator. Yes, 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 again, just like the oven, this can absolutely be considered one of those upgrades that can help you with the return on your home. Again, you have to make sure you're getting one that's aesthetically pleasing and matching matches the kitchen and matches the other appliances, but you also just want to be careful because there's that fine line where you can start pricing yourself out of that return and it's not going to matter that you bought it or not. So in conclusion on this list of top appliances to upgrade for a better return on your home, upwards of $14,000, some say most of these appliances, I would say as a professional in the business is are things that are considered general repair items within the contract. They have to be in working condition. You can't really sell your house without these working unless it's in a foreclosure or something. So again, I wouldn't necessarily consider most of these upgrades, but something that needs to be working in good condition and maintained. It's going to take going to that next level for most of these appliances to get that, you know, some sort of return on it. And then you're really going to have to balance out whether or not what you're putting into the upgrade, it might get you a return, but is it going to get enough of a return to cover what you're putting into it? That's the question you need to be asking yourself and the numbers that you need to be looking at. I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions at all about what you should or shouldn't be doing with your home when you're trying to get it ready to sell, please give us a call. We would love to help you. Thank you for keeping up with our channel. We will be tuning in again next Thursday. We'll see you later. Bye.